What's up guys, Lux here from the MD Journey where my job is to help you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. In this video, we're gonna talk about a question I get all the time through my YouTube comments as well as my email subscribers, which is I am having trouble remembering facts from my test and my quiz. Do you have any tips? And regardless of how many videos and blog posts I make on the topic, it seems like there's always some type of discrepancy. And so I'm going to make a video that I haven't really talked about before on the YouTube channel which is a technique or a style of learning that I love to use that really helps me not only remember information for the short term, but helps me retain that for the long term. So I'm gonna talk about that style of learning. In addition, we're gonna go over a resource that I highly recommend you use, which nicely implements the style of learning and makes it really natural into medical school. And at the very end, we're gonna do a huge giveaway for this resource. So stay, to, stay tuned till the end to get the details. But you guys know the deal, which is before we start any video, let's get to that intro. All right guys, so tell me if this sounds familiar. You are reading your text, things are making sense. You go to class, things are making sense. And then a week later, two weeks later, you look back at the information and you're trying to recognize it before you have to take your test and nothing looks familiar. For some reason, that information just didn't stick. So there are many reasons for this, but we're not gonna get into that. I'm gonna show you a style of technique that you can use to make it very memorable from the very start, that not only that you can remember it for your test, but you can remember it downstream for like your rotations when you're in residency. And the thing is, is let me give you an example to show you what works effectively. Think about when you tell a story to friends. The stories that you remember, the stories that you can tell really well are the memorable events in your life. They had something funny happen, you remember the people, you remember the faces, the reactions, whether, whether it was a sad, funny story, doesn't matter. You remember who was there. You can probably remember the sounds that were going around you. Um, there's a lot of descriptions, a lot of senses involved that your brain remembered to kind of collect that story, that memory. That way you can tell that story later, you know, years down the line. You don't remember the boring days. You do remember some of them, but you don't remember the little mundane details of boring days because they're not memorable. There's nothing that makes your brain click and instantly go back to that memory. There's no trigger that makes it go there. So you really have to kind of teach your brain to learn information the same way that our brain naturally stores those interesting stories and memories that we love to share, you know, a month later, a year later, and that we tend to keep for the rest of our lives. That's kind of how you have to treat your medical knowledge and it's not gonna happen with every piece of information. So one thing that I love to do is I love to create interesting and humorous stories in my head about the topic that I'm learning. So that way I can remember different facts, I can remember different details and assign little humorous uh, aspects of it. That way I can create a little movie in my head and not have to remember little facts, but instead remember the movie and if I have to remember that piece of information or that topic, I can just play that movie in my head, which sticks much longer. So let me give you an example. There's a medication that many of you guys may have heard about. It's called Teotropium. It's a medication, if you don't know, it's used commonly in COPD. If you saw that for the first time, you may not remember it, but this is something that I do in my head, which is Teotropium makes me think of Teo, which roughly translates to uncle in Spanish. And Tropium, I always think of like somebody in the tropics. So literally when I think of Teotropium, I think of an uncle with a tropical shirt. And because of COPD, I think of him coughing, I think of him having a cigarette, you know, but I have an image in my head for Teotropium. And as I learn more about the drug, I can assign more to that uncle, that figure that I have in my head. And every time I have to remember what the drug does or side effects, I just go back to that image and I continue to look at the pieces of details that I've added on, you know, you can continue to do that with every type of information you learn. Teotropium is just one drug. You can combine all the COP drugs and learn that and use that to learn all the different types of treatments that you can use for COPD. So it's a very creative and very long lasting uh, manner of learning. Now to get to the resource, which kind of helps you do it naturally. 
Many of you guys may have heard of Picmonic, but if you haven't, Picmonic is an amazing resource that has been there much longer than I've been in medical school. And they have hundreds of hundreds of videos that are like two to four minutes, almost every topic you can think about in medical school, all the way from biochem to information that's useful on your clinical rotations. And any topic you can think about, they make two to four minute videos that collaborate interesting images, just like one that I described, but they make it into a movie. So they have interesting images for all the high yield information for like a bacteria, for a biochemical reaction that you have to remember, for a diagnosis. And once you watch the video, you will be able to remember all the different details and high yield information by remembering those silly, humorous uh, images and the whole movie as a collective whole. That's an easy and amazing way of making med school both fun and memorable. So a great way of using Picmonic is use a resource before you go to class. If you're a first or second year medical student, watch the two to four minute video on the topic you know your lecture is going to be about. Then when you're in lecture, listen for the pieces of detail that you recognize were also in your video. That means that you know your lecture is hitting on a high yield information because you've heard it on Picmonic and you heard it in the lecture. And then watch the video again when you come home. Again, they're only two to four minutes. And Picmonic has plenty of other uh, great features, which includes quizzes for the videos that you watch. So you can go back and assess how much of the movie or the images did you actually retain. It'll be much easier because now you have both the video and class to incorporate uh, all or consolidate all the information you've learned. So I loved using Picmonic to both watch the videos before class, but then also using the quizzes to kind of test myself. Something that I use as an upperclassman, for example, when I was studying for my step two, is I was able to create playlists, which is just clicking all the uh, different topics I knew that I struggled with and creating a playlist that way, as I was going through my step two setting, I could easily slowly just gradually go down to each of the videos that I wanted to hit. Again, they're because they're so short, I could do a lot in one day. And I had these very memorable movies uh, inside my head when I was studying for the exam, when I was taking the exam. For example, I always struggled for some reason or another of differentiating the different types of leukemias, all the ALLs, the CMLs, all of them sounded the same for me when I was when I began studying and I would miss those questions all the time. But then when I watched the Picmonic videos, I could think about CML and I could think about the movie that went to it versus thinking about all the pieces of facts that I read in my textbook. The movie is much easier to remember. So hopefully that's the same for you. If so, highly recommend you guys try Picmonic. You know, I already mentioned the videos, the quizzes, the playlists. You can put it on your phone so you don't always need to have your laptop. But there's plenty of great features and I highly recommend you guys check it out. If you are interested, I'll put a link in the description. And if you use the link and you actually want to use Picmonic uh, long term, it has a 20% discount that Picmonic has nicely hooked all of you guys up. So check out the link below if you are interested. If you have any questions, obviously comment below. But now let's get to the giveaway. So I contacted the people at Pygmonic and they are absolutely amazing. And they are offering one of my subscribers, so one of you guys that are watching this video and subscribe to this channel, a six month subscription to the service, which is an awesome deal. So this is what you have to do to get a six month subscription to be the winner of this giveaway. First, I need you to like this video, subscribe to the channel because this is only going to the subscribers. And then in the comments, I am going to be revealing the winner in next week's live stream. So in the comments, I want you to one, put hashtag um, Picmonic, and two, I want you to give me either a question or something on your medical journey that you would like me to answer in a future video. So that's all you gotta do. You gotta like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then at the bottom in the comments, hashtag Picmonic, and ask me any type of question. It could be any type of a uh, question statement about med school, pre-med, and I'd be happy to answer them in a future video on next week's live stream. So hopefully, you know, one of you guys will be super excited and super stoked to win this amazing giveaway. Um, so thank you again to my friends at Picmonic. Uh, but that's it for this video. Again, use creative images, make stories. It may take a little bit of time if you do it yourself. You can use Picmonic to obviously expedite the process but you'll remember these images. I always remember Teotropium. 
much longer and uh, much further down the line than that point in uh, your medical school first or second year when you learned it. So hopefully that was helpful for all of you guys. If you have any questions, comment below. I've already given you the details for the giveaway. So, you know, comment below, like the, the, the video, subscribe to the channel. And in next week's live stream, I will announce the winner. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care, my friends.